Today, we are talking about one of the most requested features in the game. Now, I want to talk about this. It's going to be a little bit controversial, um, but I want to hit on this because I know a lot of people have been desiring this. I myself think this would be an amazing feature, uh, but I also want to kind of hint at what I think is going to be coming very, very soon. Now, I don't, I don't know how soon. Uh, probably, if I had to guess, probably with the next two to three updates, but I think sooner than we think. But I'm going to explain to you why I think they did this or time-gated our Echo XP on purpose. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now, if I can have you guys just press B and open up your inventory, come down to your Echoes. All right, you'll notice that unless you have leveled up an Echo specifically, um, if you try to destroy it or and or do something with it, it's just not gonna do anything <laughs> okay like for example if i say i wanted to delete stuff i don't even know if you guys knew that you could do this but you can hit some of the stuff that you have plus zero and you can hit remove it'll tell you confirm and then it'll tell you what you get which is nada zilch zero okay what this tells me is that they already have a plan or implementation in place to eventually turn this into something now, the real question is, though, is why did they decide to do something different than every other fucking Gacha game does? For example, Genshin, you could just feed your artifacts, right? In pretty much any other game, Gacha game specifically, any other extra equipment that you have, you have a way to dismantle and or use it to give XP somewhere else. So what that leaves us in is a situation where we have limited echo xp depending on how many characters you're going to build because currently the only way you can get xp is if you utilize an artifact that already has xp in it now before we write that off and just say that this is the way that it's going to be i don't think that that is the case at all now the reason i say this is because if you look at the overall content of the game and we're honest there's not really anything to do in the game okay um I talked a little bit about this before, but but quite frankly, I think that a lot of the hollow bosses and stuff are really just meant as placeholders to kind of hold us over for a period of time. Now, what is going to happen, because, you know, at the start of the game, we really only had, what, six five stars, right? A few four stars. So even if you built all the characters in the game, technically, the game almost provided all of the resources that you would have needed to build those specific characters. It's just really simple supply and demand. But what's going to happen as we start and continue to go through the game is more and more characters are going to release, right? So hear me out. So what I think that their financial strategy is, is right now is just to hold the bottleneck. Now, originally, I wrote, I kind of thought that I was going to write this off as like, oh, you know, every Gasha game creates this bottleneck because they're just trying to control the money. But it's kind of weird when you think about it, because when you look at weapon XP, you can craft it. Hell, you can kill shit in the world and get weapon XP, right? Characters love actually killing monsters in this game is actually a viable way to level up your characters, which is weird, especially if you're coming from Genshin. So it didn't make sense that they only have one resource bottlenecked the way that this is. But now if we fast forward to 1.1... You guys know that we're getting ready to, they're getting ready to do a double XP event uh, for Echoes and all that good jazz. But honestly, I think that that's just a teaser. The reason I say that is because it makes sense that they would hold off on the Echo XP because they wanted to slow down how fast we can get through the initial content in the game because they know as well as we know. In 1.0, there wasn't really shit to do after, you know, you finished chapter one and then you did all the chests and the quests and stuff and that's it. However, if you guys look at how big, because I know you guys have looked at all the fucking leaks for 1.1, but if you look at how big 1.1 is and we anticipate that every single version update is going to be at least that size and then obviously the 2.0 update is probably just going to be insane, you'll start to see that if you think about it, in just six months, the amount of five stars we have in this game will double, okay? <laughs> so you chart that out or over, let's say, the, the course of five years, the five years that Genshin has been out. You could just imagine how large the roster is, and we haven't even factored in four stars, collaborations with other games, or random events that they'll include that we'll have an opportunity to get characters. So considering that, it would be almost impossible for them to keep the system the way that it currently is and still be effective in the game. 
So like I said, when you guys take a look, they already have the groundwork set up in place for this for the dismantling and the swapping, and which only leads me to believe that probably within the next few updates or so, especially as they start to pour in two characters at a time, two characters at a time, two characters at a time, supply and demand is going to shift, and then what they'll do is they'll do what's called the hero act, right? And this is just my prediction here. And what they'll do is they will then allow us, and they'll kind of pose that as an update, and they'll allow us to basically use our fodder right because people what's going to happen is as as the casual player starts to play this game more and more uh their inventory will be filled with echoes and this is going to take a while because i'm pretty sure they write their timeline based off of your average player not the one percenters right <laughs> not the hardcores and what's going to happen is complaints are going to start to arise about how they have nothing to do with the artifacts or excuse me with their echoes and and out of the blue seemingly it's going to feel like oh well, on this next update, we're going to be releasing a way for you to dismantle your thing and receive XP, or we're going to give you a way to feed your zero XP cards to XYZ Artifact, right? And I think it's going to be a juggling, a juggling act between increasing, obviously, our world rank, right? Um, so, incre sorry, our data bank rank. So, as our data bank rank increases and we're able to go to like 20, level 26 or 27 or 30 or whatever, it's going to be a combination of that. And them introducing the dismantling system, but how fast that's going to happen, it's going to be hard to say. Because like I said, in, in just six months, the five-star pool is going to be double-sized. And if they plan to introduce four stars along the way, our hero pool is going to get nuts really, really quick. And in a year, I mean, it's just unfathomable, okay? So taking that into consideration, what's the strategy, what's the approach while we wait? It's going to be it's going to be tough to see. Um, and I think, you know, my personal strategy is to really just wait. And as the data, data bank levels increase, then just, you know, follow that and get as high levels as I can without blasting all my artifacts or my echoes. And then from there, uh, maybe just stockpiling some as we get closer and closer uh, to whatever update or to that announcement. But I think the key thing that we're looking for is when uh, a majority of the casual players really start to create those Reddit posts and articles about how they have so many echoes and they don't know what the fuck to do with them. And, and this company needs to do something something because i think once we get to that point uh which i don't think will probably happen for another couple of months but once we start getting to that point that's when i think we can expect to see uh a change so with that being said guys uh that's all i wanted to cover today let me know what your guys' thoughts about this whole situation is uh, i know a lot of you guys out there are really frustrated about not being able to level up your echoes and do the things that you want in game uh, but let me know what you guys think about this. You guys think that they'll do it soon or you guys think that this is something that they want to control forever? I'm interested to see your comments in the box below. But with that being said, that's all I want to cover today and we'll see you guys in the next video.